bang and we're there because that's how they that's how it works if they don't cool, know, like i mean it is cool yeah but i don't think I, oh, my editing skills are that good anyway no. hi how's it going <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name's gregory gage and this is craig this is a very special edition. If, if you hadn't guessed from the title of this, this is a Wizarding World of Harry Potter snack haul. Yep. So there's lots of snacks here. We are good to go. We've got, I mean, the bag is empty because we've laid it all out, but do 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 do. Harry Potter. Harry Potter World. Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. It was so good. I loved it. Never been before. And I was so excited, especially after going to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, which set me up immensely. Mm -hmm. And I loved every second. It was like stepping into the books and the films at the same time. So I was very, very happy. He's a big fan. If you want to check out Craig's reaction to Diagon Alley, and just, you know, in general, everything, everything. Harry Potter. It was great. Me. You Freaking can check it. out the Florida vlogs they're on my channel right now, so I will put a link at the end of this video for those vlogs for you to check out. They are really, really fun. You'll love them. Right, snacks! Wait, no, before no, we start the snacks. Before we start, I mean, Obviously, there's something we had to do when we were there. I had to do when I was there is obviously pop into <laughs> Ollivander's mm -hmm. wand shop. Fine makers of wands since 300 BC. I can't remember the exact date. I think it was 300 BC. It's about that. But yes, very cool. Very, very cool. You get your own wand box. We were in there for ages looking at wands. We'll show you what you get. This is my wand. This is a- My wand. This is a 17 and a quarter inches, I think. Older wood wand, dragon heart string core. And it's so cool. Yes. Skeleton, snake. Snake. And it fits perfectly on hand. So nice. I love it. This is one of the interactive ones. You see a little light bulb at the end. Mm -hmm. So you go to all the little places in Diagon Alley and in Hogsmeade and you can use magic spells and things. And in here... You can do the Disney Channel thing where they go... Yeah, <laughs> yeah not quite. <laughs> but in the box comes with a map of Hogsmeade and of Diagon Alley. It shows you all the locations where you can use your spells. And if you tap on the map with your wand, the little footprints come up. Ready? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? This is a lie. Whatever this is, it's a lie. Yeah. Ah. It's so nice because it's like coloured to look like parchment and the the images of on the map are actually like the Marauder's map. So it's really cool. And also what I like, what I have noticed today as well, is the the wand movements that you have to do in order to, to cast a spell are exactly the same wand movements on the wizarding game on the iPhone. Oh, are they? Yes. Uh, isn't that like Wizard, Harry Potter, Wizards Unite? Wizards Unite. If you want to really find good. out Craig's Wizarding Unite code, Just I will me. put that down below so you but can... Yes, this is my wand. ...join up with him. I will be holding this throughout the entirety of the video. What, even when you're taking, trying to eat I things? I can taking Greg's memories out. Yes. Some of them. Take out all my bad memories. <laughs> yeah, while we're eating. Right. Ooh, and I'll read you some first. fun facts as well about Ooh. Harry Potter. Mm, okay, we'll see. First things first, we have pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice. What did you expect? Pumpkin juice? This one is really, like really cute. Line. So the pumpkin comes off the top and it's just a regular lid. And it's cute though. This is very, very sweet. We've already drunk some of this. It's incredibly sweet. It's incredibly pumpkin-y. It's like it's filled with sugar. Do you want to have a go first? I know what it tastes like. I know. Oh yes. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you carry on drinking it. No, it's pretty good. It's not very, it doesn't like hydrate you on a day when it's really hot. No, it's very sickly. Yeah, so. More, almost like a dessert drink. Although it does say it contains 81% juice. It does have puree, it has pumpkin puree in it and apple juice and cinnamon stuff. It's very, very sickly sweet. But mm. it's cool, it's really nice. I like it. Yeah, not bad. Mmm. Pumpkin juice. <laughs> and we picked that up in Honey Dukes. <coughs> Honey Dukes Sweet Shop. In right. Hogsmeade. Where should we, should we should save the chocolate frog till the end. Why? Because we should. Because we should. Okay, so we didn't get Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans because we had two boxes of Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans at home from the Warner Brothers Studio Tours. You got a little eyelash. Two boxes from the Harry Potter Studio Tours and we haven't finished those yet. We've actually got them. We put them in this because they didn't fit in the box anymore. But I thought we got another one. We didn't get another one. I wanted to get another one so that we had like the actual box, but Craig didn't want me to get another one because we already had all of these. 
So these are Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. And I like them. I know which one I'm going to go for because that's they the, don't make me feel sick. the candy, candy floss? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one's really, really good. We don't have any of the rotten eggs left, do we? Maybe we do. I'm not sure. Yeah, eat that one. No, I don't want to. Just in case. Please don't make me feel sick. I'm going to give this one a go and I'm hoping it's not the While I'm chewing rotten this. egg. I'm going to read you something that I found quite interesting. Not rotten egg, that's like lemon sherbet or something. So in the Deathly Hallows, in the mm. book, Harry notes that Ron and Hermione fell asleep holding each other's hands. Hermione's Patronus is an otter, which sleeps holding hands with other otters. Incidentally, Ron's Patronus is a Jack Russell Terrier, which is known for chasing otters. Oh, Clever fun. JK. So I guess Emma Watson and I have that in common, because my Patronus is an otter. Yeah, I like these pink ones. The pink ones are good. Yeah, they are good. Mm. Right, let's open something else. This one's soap. I like the soap one. Soap is just weird. Why would you like soap? Why does it taste like soap? Okay, let's move on to these. These are in the movie, right? Exploding, Exploding bonbons. bonbons. They'll be in the book somewhere, I'm sure. I was trying to work out when we were walking around Honeydukes which sweets were in the books. Because Honeydukes is very, very... It's not even in the movie. If they don't, they don't go in... They go in there, but very, very briefly. In the books, they go in there. Okay. Come on. Exploding bonbons. Exploding bonbons. Here we go. It's actually so bad that I... Um, after our trip to Florida, I have to go to the dentist. I have a cavity. Uh-huh. A lot of sweets. I did not have one before I went to Florida. I okay. can even check my teeth. But no, I can actually like see it at the back of my, my tooth. It's not good. Okay. I don't know whether I'm going to like these or not because it's orange and pineapple flavour. Oh, that sounds good. Mm, I'm not a big fan. Fan see, of pineapple, see? I love pineapple. See? see? I love pineapple, so pineapple is a winner for me. But orange, I'm not too sure about. It's cute. It's yeah. cute I like how box. it's a good illusion because it's like, oh, that whole box is full of chocolate. It's literally the ones you can see. All right. Take an exploding bonbon. Hold on, wait. Both have our exploding bonbon. No, oh, it's white. Okay, wait, you can't eat it without me. Here we go. Exploding okay. bonbon. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I don't know if you can hear it. Mmm. I did not expect that. Mine's not crackling as much as yours was. This is disgusting for the people at home. Mmm. Oh wow. That's really nice. I kind of wish we got more of those. While I'm digesting this, there's only eight Let me give you now. another fun fact. Dumbledore is an old English word for bumblebee. Oh. J.K. Rowling said she chose the name because she pictured Dumbledore humming to himself. Yeah. Which mm. I thought was quite cute. I can still hear it at the back of my throat. I mean, they proper explode in your mouth. Mm. Oh, they're really good. Okay, so that's white really chocolate nice. with the real boom. Mm. Say that again. Ooh. Your reaction. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next. Do you want jelly slugs? Let's go with jelly Let's slugs. Let's jelly slugs. Okay, I'm going to open the box. Jelly slugs was mentioned in the book. I'm sure it was. They're like jelly deals. Ooh, nothing of the like. Can I have some more pumpkin juice, please? Okay, right. Here we go. Jelly slugs. These I mean, came... I imagine like... they're just going to taste like jelly. Snakes, right? Again, came from Honey Dukes in Hogsmeade. Uh, we're gonna open this up. Uh, wrigglingly good. Oh, because they move. The oh, oh, God. They actually look like the like. Because they move. Oh, they're a bit like sticky as well. Okay, so this is what they look like inside. Oh, it looks like a flesh eating slug. Yeah. I was oh. looking for some flesh eating slug repellent. They, they, they're eating all the school they cabbages, see? They? They're, they're, um, they look like slugs. They've got yeah. like little slug eyes and they've got the slug pattern on them. Hmm. Okay. Like the oh. Oh, it? It's like banana flavour, this one. What's that? But the, the texture of it is almost exactly what you would imagine a slug to be like. <laughs> like really oh, tough. it actually is. Like really tough and thick. But I wouldn't taste that like this flavour-wise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read you another fun fact while we're chewing on the slug. Okay. You probably knew this one already. A lot of people know this one. But if muggles stumbled across Hogwarts... They wouldn't see it. It would look like a dilapidated building with a keep out dangerous sign written on it. See, that would encourage a lot of people mm -hmm. to, to go into I, it. A lot of people say that, that people would go in it anyway. Especially Signs in like a YouTuber people. world. Mm -hmm. There's all the people that explore all these things. So yeah, I guess JK Rowling wasn't thinking about that back in whenever the first move, the first book came out. In the 90s. Quick, it it would have been, been late. 80s though when she was thinking about it. I guess so. That's true. I actually kind of want another slug. I don't. What was the, what flavour was yours? The light green one. What flavour was it? I don't know. It tasted very bland. Mine tasted like, or mine tasted like banana. Mine probably slug flavoured. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the jelly slugs. Mm. Definitely prefer the bonbons though. Bonbons are a good mm. one. Okay, let's go I with. Wanna, I can't even finish it. Fudge flies, chocolate fake flavored fudge flies. Mm. They're gonna be good unless they're like fudge <sighs> with flies. In I them. can't finish. I need this to finite and contact him right now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. Oh my god, there's actual flies in them. Yeah, no, no, there's not. They're flies, but they're fudge flies. 
There's flies covered in Big chocolate. Patch of chocolate like that. Patch, pouch, packet, packet of chocolate. Maybe thirsty for some pumpkin juice. Okay, so they literally just, they are little fly looking like things. Are they fly sized? Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay. Okay, let's try one. It's gonna be like American chocolate, isn't it? Yeah, basic. <laughs> Sorry, there's no Cadbury's. It like crumbles in your mouth like powder. Plastic chocolate. Ooh. Yeah, not my favourite. Mm -mm. It's a nice aftertaste of the texture. It's fudge flavoured. No, sorry, chocolate flavoured fudge flies. So it's not actually chocolate. But it's not fudge. I wouldn't call that fudge. Ingredients. Sugar. That's all it is. It's fake. Do you know what that is? I bet that's like vegan chocolate. You know how vegan chocolate tastes like crap? It does. This is, it's got milk and soy in it. Right, it? but it's going to be the same kind of ball game, isn't it? Oh well. Right, so. Should I tell you something else? Okay. JK Rowling has admitted admitted publicly that she regrets the relationship between Ron and Hermione. Oh really? Mm. Why? Got no idea. <laughs> okay, so we've done that, we've done that. Let's go with Felix Felicius. Oh no, 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 no. Let's do the liquids, let's do the, the potions after. Well no, I feel like we need some luck. Felix Felicius, otherwise known as? Liquid luck. Yes, we should do that and then go okay, back to the fine, chocolate. Okay, fine, go Because we've got more chocolate coming. Okay, so Felix Felicia comes in a vial. Which gets awarded a to Harry vial like when that. he creates the potion. Yeah, but he cheated to make he that potion. He didn't cheat. He, he followed did. the instructions that were written in the book. Except mm -hmm. someone edited them. He wasn't cheating. Someone, you mean Snape. Well, yeah. See, half, I know my stuff. The Half-Blood Prince. I'm not just like every other. Like, now, we tried now. some of this when we were in oh, Hollow we did. Orlando and it wasn't very nice. I didn't like it. Maybe our tastes have changed since then. Uh, probably not. I mean, it's liquid candy. Okay. I mean, that says it all. It does, that's <laughs> true. But this is good till the 15th of May, 2020. 2027. All natural. It looks cool though. I think part of it is mostly of just the fact is. that it looks It's a vial. You get it? It's like, wow, it's actually the, the potion. You've got the little cork at the top there. You ready for some luck? I mean, sure. <laughs> we have our little lucky vial here. Let's give this a go. Oh, gross. Dribbles out like a potion as well. I don't know if I want any. It's got like a honey consistency, but a ginger flavor. Yeah. <laughs> but when you're actually like looking at it, I don't think this is actually gonna show up on camera. It's gliss, it's got that, um, what's it called, luster dust? It kind of glistens. Oh my God. I the liquid in there does kind of glisten. It's quite nice to look at but yeah the flavor is pretty rancid it's, it's, de it's definitely but then i guess it's accurate because potions don't taste nice they just have magical properties i mean that's i don't know so that was liquid luck that was again in honey jukes in hogsmeade which is quite funny you'd think they'd sell it in the potion shop let's go <laughs> oh uh I like the color of this box peppermint toads onto our next little box of things okay yes Woo. This one's quite sad. Sirius Black and Fred Weasley, two tricksters from different generations, both died laughing. <laughs> right, <laughs> and on that happy note, peppermint toad. We haven't tried these, have we, before? No, so peppermint toads are made with dark chocolate. I guess it's mint flavored chocolate. Which again, I'm not really a big fan. These, I, oh, looking at them, they look a lot like the the flies, the fudge flies. But it still says it's actually got chocolate in it. Okay, does it? Oh no 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 no. See 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 see. This is this is how you know this isn't chocolate work. Let me see ingredients. Right, sugar, palm oil, non-fat dry milk, chocolate liqueur, soy, vanilla, and peppermint oil. So there's actually no chocolate in they it. They smell really really pepperminty. They're not. They're no. There's no chocolate in them. They're just fake. Okay. I mean, they look really mm. cute though. They do, but like, bleh. I'm hoping I that don't like mint flavoured things. That kind of mm. cute looking toad. I mean, the exploding bonbons are my favourite thing so far. It's like an after eight. <laughs> it does taste, ex it tastes mm -hmm. exactly like an after eight. Let me tell you something I else. I prefer these to the, uh, the flies. Yeah. This one is interesting. And tell me, tell in the comments or whatever, if you knew this, because I didn't know this. I didn't work it out anyway. So in the Prisoner of Azkaban, Professor Trelawney refuses to sit at a table with 12 other characters because she would be the 13th and the first one to get up after that would die. In the Order of the Phoenix, 13 members of the Order are sitting and Sirius is the first one to stand. I'm sure you knew that already. No, I didn't. I remember someone telling me something about that and I only imagine it would be you that would be telling me that. No, it wasn't me. Maybe it was someone else. No. I definitely didn't know that. I thought that was really interesting. I've heard that before. Mm. Mm. Check me out, I'm a bigger Harry Potter fan than Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Kuda. <laughs> the Fizzing Wispies. These. I, you liked these. I liked I these. I didn't like them at I all. I like the Fizzing Wispies a lot. Are these in the movie or are they in, in the, the book? They're in the book. Both, I think. Okay. They're maybe actually just in the book. Okay. Fizzing Wispies. I ate a box of these to myself when we were out there. They look very cool. There's the little Fizzing Wispies. Fly woman. Yep. And these, again, are a chocolate kind of thing. Made with chocolatey fizzy fruits. So it's like popping chocolate. Like, much like the exploding bonbons. But these are bigger. And it looks like a, a bee. I don't know if I want the whole one. It looks like a bee. Yeah, I don't like them. Mm-mm. I like them. These are good. These are popping candy. It's got poppy candy sugar in it. Mm -hmm. Popping candy sugar in it. Not as much as the exploding bonbons though. Like I can feel it, but you probably couldn't hear it. These are very good. Fizzing Wispies. I like this fact. This is about the movies, not the books. While filming the kissing scene between the Horcrux versions of Harry and Hermione in Deathly Hallows Part 2. I can hear you crackling. Ron had to be removed from the set for laughing hysterically. Ron? Yeah. So, Rupert grinned. Yeah. Why was he laughing hysterically? Because they were kissing. Such a child. Yeah. Well, they only were children. Okay. Kind of. Let's move on to this. Oh, this is pretty. I'm curious. I'm not, we didn't try this when we were there. So this is something that's going to keep your relationship alive. <laughs> if you force it upon your partner every hour or whatever, how long it is, I can't remember. This. This is the love potion. Mm. Amortentia. Amortentia. You pronounce all the T's. Mm -hmm. Well, that just doesn't sound as good. Amortentia. Amortentia. Possibly the most dangerous potion in the world. Why is that? Because it's uh, people... It's called a love potion, but... You can't create love. No. Um, just a mere infatuation. Or an obsession. That's yeah. why it's dangerous. And it also smells differently to every person. Okay, so that's... According to what they're attracted I'm, to. I'm going to smell this and see what it smells like, and then Craig can smell it and, and see. And the steam rises up in circles. And it has a pearl colour to it, apparently. It smells good. Let me see. Is it pink? I think so. I can't really tell. That's a bubble. Okay, wait. I can't really smell anything. Don't pour it in there because it'll get all sticky. It is like a pinky purple. Is it? Uh, oh yeah, it's pearly. It's, it's a oh, really that's light. Cute. I like colour. It's a really, that. really light colour. Oh no. What does it taste like? <laughs> As we read, this is hand wash. <laughs> It doesn't taste good. It tastes like I, re I recognize the flavor. Is it like rose flavored? There's like a yeah. floral. Mm hmm. That is exactly what it is. It's rose flavored. I can't stand anything flavored with rose. Ugh. I can't get that out of there. Oh, great. It's just gonna be a bit sticky. I mean, just wash it all out and keep the bottle anyway. <laughs> right. What does it say on this? What, this must say something. Liquid sweets. This is, yep, yeah, rose water. Honey, rose water. It, it just tastes like pure rose water. That, my friends, is disgusting. Definitely not falling in love with anyone anytime soon with that. Let's move on to the last little snack that we've got with us today. We're moving on to the chocolate frog. This is the best snack. The chocolate frogs all come with a card, a collectible card. With a famous witch or wizard. <sighs> Who are you trying to be, Ron? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the one, the cards that I've got so far already are Rowena Ravenclaw. And it's got like a little holographic picture of, of her on there. And then it's got the information about Rowena Ravenclaw on the back of it. Then I've also got Albus Dumbledore. Buzzing bee. Mm. And then I have two of Godric Gryffindor. So I don't need any more Godric Gryffindor. But I do like how they're, they are like the little 3D they make that sound. No, don't do that. It's cute though. Everyone loves I don't know if that frog. Is, that shows up, doesn't it? You can see that he's kind of moving in 3D. They're not real frogs, are they? Frog. It's just the spell. Besides, it's the card you want. All right, wait. 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 You've got to show them. I'm gonna show them. Okay. Now I've got the wand. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> that pronunciation was awful. Probably would have backfired in your face. Well, I don't believe it. Godric Gryffindor. Ugh. Fudging Godric. Gryffindor again. Anyhow, you get this in <laughs> I don't want um, to have that now. I think we should put that in the fridge. Yes, this is the chocolate frog. And the box is cute. The chocolate frogs are very big. They are hefty things. These are good though. Look how thick that is. That is a thick chocolate frog. Very nice. They are. They, they taste really good as well. They're really, really nice. I just like, I love how it's like presented in the box. It's cute. And there you go. There's the little 
chocolate frog in the box. These ones you can get at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London, or you can also get them at Universal Studios, Universal, Universal Orlando Resort, Universal Studios Florida, and Islands of Adventure. But you can also get them at Orlando International Airport. Yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> but the ones that we've got, like in places like Primark, where they sell like the smaller ones that are size the size of a Freddo, Please. they're not worth they're it. They're like 4 as well. It's like really. No. This is like eight dollars, so this is a this is a good, good eight dollars well spent. Yeah, chocolate frog. So there we go, the chocolate frog. I think that's pretty much it for all of our Harry Potter Wizarding World of Harry Potter snacks. So I hope you've enjoyed this little. It is good. Snack haul of all these wizarding things. Are we going now? Yeah. How do we how do we go? We have to. I mean, we can just half right out, but first of all, we need to obliviate. There you, we go. You're done. They're all down now. They don't know any better. They don't know why we're here. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>